I'm delighted to have Rob McKelvey back in the studio. Hello, Rob. Hello, Robert. How are you? I'm good. Thanks very much good. for joining us. So look, I find whenever I sit down talking to you, I immediately start to feel a little more relaxed. There's something about the, w the way that you present your ideas and um, quite apt, really, because today we're talking about how to reduce stress. Correct. Which is clearly something, I mean, stress, I guess, is not all totally bad. That's the first thing, is it? No, it's not all bad, but it's, it's how you react to stressful situations yes. that can create the badness or the goodness out of it. Okay. And you've got some tips to share with us. I do. I okay. do. What should we do about it? Well, the first thing to do is to be aware of when you are stressed. Mm -hmm. And most people just react to stressful situations rather than actually acknowledge the fact that they're feeling stress. And mm -hmm. you can feel the stress because you get palpitations and, right. and you get anxious. And, uh, and if you don't address the stress, that could turn into okay, a Okay, so the first thing is to recognize, recognize kind it. Kind of when you're there. Then what do we do? Ask yourself if you can view the stress in a different manner. Can you change your emotional reaction to that stressful situation? Can you actually avoid that stressful situation? So are these situation? questions that we should actually physically ask ourselves and, yes. and write down some responses? Well, you to? don't necessarily have to write them down. It, okay. it's, uh, it's not a long process. The thought process only takes a matter of a few seconds. Okay. But it's really that awareness. Mm. Instead of reacting immediately, just say, whoa, I'm feeling stressed. Okay. What's, cause, feeling what's stressed causing this causing. stress? Okay. So let's assume we've done that. Where do we go to next? Well, the uh, next uh, thing that you could try is breathing. Breathing? Yep. Okay. It sounds pretty normal uh, thing that we do, and uh, it is. Right. But the difference when you're in a stressful situation is you start to breathe faster okay. and more shallow breaths are taken. So it's not just breathing, which, which we probably do most of the time, but we need Typically. to begin to think about our breathing and... and, and right, and relax the breathing. Take okay. deep breaths. What I uh, tell my clients is to take five deep breaths and breathe low into your stomach slowly and then fill your diaphragm and your lungs from there. And when you get to the top of your lung capacity, just hold it for three seconds. Okay. And then as you exhale, just think to yourself, relax, hmm. relax. Okay, so <laughs> lovely. What do we do next? A visualization is very useful. Okay. Um, put yourself into a nice, quiet environment. Uh, it, it can be real or imagined because, okay. believe it or not, the brain doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination. Right. So put yourself into a useful environment. A lot of people go to the beach. Uh, a lot of people go to you the mean mountains. in their mind they go to In the your beach. mind, yeah, yes. Okay. Uh, make it useful by incorporating all of your senses into that visualization. Okay. So if you're at the beach, you imagine the smell, you imagine the noise. That's you... right, exactly. What do you okay. see? What do you hear? What do you yeah. feel? What mm. can you taste if you're eating the sand, which is kind of weird, but, okay. you know. <laughs> kind of weird. And the final point. The final one is to um, keep physically active. Uh, so don't sort of sit and wallow in your stress. Don't wallow in your stress, but mm -hmm. it, just as a normal course of your life, do something physical, mild exercise. Okay, walking. Walking, yeah. swimming, uh, some people. So can, not necessarily just in this stressful situation, but in general. Keep in general, active, and, keep and the reason that you do that is because mild activity and exercise actually releases endorphins, in, sure. in which is a natural feel-good chemical. Yeah and it helps you to relax and get rid of stressful situations. This is great. Thank you, Rob. So I can see this is something that we need to listen to, jot down your points, and next time we find ourselves in that situation, give it a go. Thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you.